corridors are single three D objects um, that combine horizontal geometry, vertical geometry, and cross-sectional geometry. For example, in this drawing, there's this corridor. You can click on it, right click, and go to Object Viewer. That's the corridor. That's the corridor. This corridor was created from uh, horizontal geometry, this alignment. There's an alignment here that created the corridor. A combination of this alignment, this design profile here, and uh, finally, the cross-sectional geometry, which is this road cross-section. Together, the three form uh, the road corridor. If I right-click on the corridor and go to corridor properties, you'll see those three things. For example, here, you will see the horizontal geometry here. The baseline, the alignment is, is that. And then for the vertical baseline, finished ground profile, that, that was the profile. And then for the assembly, we have that assembly for that region. And a corridor can also be subdivided into different parts called regions. For example, here, this corridor has three regions. This is region out of date. This is the first region. Also, this is also out of date. And then the third region. So the first thing you create in a corridor is, what is, is called a baseline. BL here stands for baseline. Baseline consists of two things. It consists of the alignment and the and the profile. So here, as you can see, the baseline is, is consisting of a horizontal baseline, which is basically the alignment, and then a vertical baseline, which is basically the design alignment. And then later on, you add uh, the regions, um, a corridor can consist of numerous uh, regions or only one region. And then the region, when you add the region, that's when you introduce an assembly. And uh, you can create uh, surfaces on top of roads or at the bottom of roads. As you can see here, there's a corridor surface. There's a surface that was created on top of that road. And then there was a uh, datum surface. This is created beneath the road. For example, if I go to the prospector here and click on surfaces, you can see this road corridor surfaces. I can select it and go to object viewer and look at that surface. There is a surface. on top of the road. Let me also check out the datum surface. The reason why it can't be seen is because it's a, its property or its, its style is set to none. You could select it and good surface properties and uh, Assign it a different style. And there you go. There's a data surface that has been shown. However, it needs a boundary. Let's just look at it. That's how the road looks beneath the road.
That's how the surface looks beneath the road. And that's an introduction to road corridors.